Hi everyone and welcome! In this video we take a look at the 3GS Mesh Physical Material. This material provides a bunch of parameters to create reflection and refraction effects and enables us to create realistic looking glass objects. So let's try it out! We start with a prepared scene with a light source and some objects inside. Nothing special so far. The first step is to create an instance of the mesh physical material. For the beginning we set the color to white. And then of course we create one or more meshes with that material. I create a sphere and an icosahedron, just so we have something interesting to look at. And right now we have boring white objects, but this will change soon. Glass objects are transparent. To make that happen, use the transmission attribute of the physical material. The value of that attribute must be between 0 and 1. Setting that value to 1 makes the objects fully transmissive. Also, we must change the roughness attribute. This attribute defines how smooth or how diffuse the material appears. The value must be between 0 and 1 and we set it to 0, which means smooth and reflective. With these values it looks more like a glass object. So far the objects look like very thin glass. We can change that by adjusting the attributes Index of Refraction or short IOR and Thickness. The IOR must be between 1 and 2.333 and it is used to calculate the light refraction. As an alternative for the IOR we can use the Reflectivity attribute. The Thickness attribute can be greater or equal to 0. This value specifies the volume beneath the material surface. Ramping both values up creates the effect of thick glass and this looks much more interesting. Glass is very reflective and our objects are not really, but we can improve that. At first we will increase the reflectivity by adjusting some attributes and then we add an environment map to use as a reflection. With the specular intensity attribute, which can be between 0 and 1, we can specify the amount of specular reflection. Setting this attribute to 1 creates the highest amount of reflection. The clear coat attribute, which is also between 0 and 1, simulates a thin reflective layer on top of the material. Usually it is used by objects like car paints, wet surfaces and so on. And we set this attribute to the value 1. For the environment map, I use a high dynamic range image, or short HDRI. These images look like this here, where the surroundings are contained in one single image. I load the HDRI texture with a regular 3GS texture loader. And then I change the mapping type of the texture to Acre Rectangular Reflection Mapping. Then I assign this texture to the environment map attribute of the physical material. And with that, having a close look at the glass objects, we see glimpses of the environment texture on the glass surface. Now we have realistic looking glass objects. The physical material has some more attributes, for example sheen and sheen color. Just experiment with all attributes to find interesting looking effects. And this concludes the video. Thanks for watching. 